Hello friends! Today we are up to number 14 in our 1001 tarot spreads. We have made it two weeks. Ta -da. Uh Considering this is going to be the better part of a two-year process <laughs> to get through 1001 readings doing one a day, we're up to the question, should you go for a major promotion? Or focus on happiness in your out-of-work life. Or, in more layman's terms, in your personal life at home. We're going to use the full deck for this. And we're going to use these two cards. We're about to find out what they are. Card number one represents what happens if you go for that promotion. And card number two represents what you will either obtain or how it will go if you choose to forego the promotion and instead focus on your personal life. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Card number one. We have the Five of Feathers, represented by the Armadillo. And card number two, the Page of Acorns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which is represented by... Actually, I'm not sure what that animal is. Let's look it up real quick. Okay, it is saying it's a monkey. They just drew it very artistically. So here's card number one, the armadillo, which represents strategy and resilience. So when you are considering this major promotion, which probably includes greater responsibility, time commitment, stress, if that fits your strategy, go for it. But you have to think about it the added strain of that position could potentially throw other things out of whack. So think thoroughly about the consequences of accepting the additional responsibility. This does not mean don't do it. This means be aware of what you're signing up for. Verify what your actual commitments are if you take that position. Card number two. And I think you'll see why I was a little confused about this being a monkey. Because the tail looks almost more like a chameleon tail than, than a monkey tail. Is the Page of Acorns. Represents discovery and enthusiasm. If you don't accept that extra responsibility from that job promotion you will have more time available to you for your personal endeavors, for your artistic or your uh, recreational type activities. Just make sure that it's something you're actually interested in and derive enjoyment from. Because if you're just wasting your time, you're not going to feel good about it. Focus on doing things that help improve your life both in and outside of work. So to sum up, both options appear good in this situation, but you have to be thoughtful about both of them. For the job promotion, make sure you can actually handle the additional responsibility. For foregoing that, make sure you have a good reason and you have something else that you are developing and building in your life rather than the job titles and positions. If you've been enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, or if you really like them, subscribe. That way you'll be notified when new ones release. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!